Let's solve the advent of code 2021 day one problem using Rob Pike's IV calculator. IV is an APL-like calculator that is particularly good at dealing with arrays of numbers, which makes it a natural fit for this puzzle. I've already downloaded the large input as input.txt and copied the sample into in sample.txt, as you can see. The first thing we need to do is install IV, which we can do using go install. The next thing we need to do is convert the inputs into IV syntax, which means turning each into an assignment with all the numbers on one line. All right, that looks good. Now we can start IV. Perfect. So just to sanity check, we can ask the size of the input values, and those match the line counts from before. Now the first puzzle is to count the number of times one input value is larger than the previous input value. We could implement this by subtracting each line from the next and counting the number of positive results. And to do that, we need the input with the first element removed, and we need the input with the last element removed. That's one drop sample and minus one drop sample. And then we'll subtract these. And then we can ask which ones are greater than zero. The underscore here means the previous result. Comparing an array against a single value produces an array of booleans, meaning ones and zeros, saying how each of the array elements compared. Then we can sum that list. And of course, x minus y greater than zero is more conventionally written x greater than y, and that works here too. And we can add over that. The summing is over an operation is so common that it's generalized as the inner product operation. Normally, we think of an inner product as a sum of products, like 1, 2, 3, inner product 2, 3, 4, which is 2 plus 6 plus 12 is 20. But we can use any operator, including greater than, and in particular, we can say add inner product over greater than, which gives us the same result. And finally, we can define a custom operator to do this for us. And there's the answer for the input. So let's submit this. All right, now we go to part two. Now part two is asking us to do a windowed sum, summing uh, triples of numbers and then uh, adjacent triples and then checking which of those are increasing. Now to sum the adjacent triples, we just need to sum the three different subarrays, all but the last two numbers, the first and last removed, and then all but the first two numbers. And that gives the sums on the page. Just for fun, we can also put those three subarrays sub into a two-dimensional array of dimensions three by length of two, which we can do by saying we're going to make a three by length of two array consisting of these numbers. There's a grid. Now we can't add them yet because at plus adds over rows and not columns. So if we do that, we get the wrong answer. So instead, we need to do transpose of grid three of sample, and then we can add over that. And that does give the same uh, sum that we had before. And so we could also define sum three this way, as transpose of grid three of sample. Well, we can if we define it the right way. There we go. Either way, once we have the sums, we can now count the increasing steps. Inc sum three of sample is five, which is the right answer. And then inc sum three of input, also five. We just messed up, aha, we didn't use the right variable. Inc sum three of input. That looks more promising. Let's try that. There we go. And we have our stars. Have a great day.